After doing some of these modeling tests and even shading, it became pretty clear that in order to make a movie with such a large polygonal mesh, in other words, that of the entire virus that I had exported out of Chimera and tried to import into Maya, that that was going to be really hard. So at that stage, um, it became time to, to consider using uh, or, or developing, in this case, another tool. And so in this movie, I'd like to focus on the process of recreating that Reovirus mesh. But I think you'll agree, in, in a way that's much more um, intuitive and the resulting mesh is much smaller. So um, if, you, if you are able to obtain Molecular Maya, I can show you where to get it. If you go to molecularmovies.com, in the toolkit section. This is the home of Molecular Maya, which is a set of MEL and Python scripts that are open source and freely available. So after a, just a, a quick registration, you can get those sets of scripts and download the Molecular Maya plugin. Once you have the plugin and you open up Maya, you'll notice that we've integrated this tool within the interface. So if you just click on the little molecule up here, you'll notice um, the Molecular Maya Molecule Editor show up on the right. And there have been other, there are tutorials on the website and there are even other tutorials that are coming out um, in, in magazines on this plugin. So I won't go through all the features. I will just do the, the necessary clicks to import our real virus and show you how easy it is to create an entire virus within Maya. So I already have the structure downloaded locally, so I'll go to 1EJ6 and I'll import it. And a note on what we're doing, it's taking the position of every atom in this protein data bank file and it's placing a particle at that position, to be more precise, an, an N particle which will let us create a mesh around all of them a little bit later. So in this movie we're interested in a what's called a surface representation of the virus which is similar to what you saw in Chimera just a minute ago. So let's just wait another second for 1EJ6 to be imported into Maya and to create the particle object. Here it is. So as you can see it's a, it's a point cloud at the moment. Uh, I'll press 5 to turn on shading. And actually, this is an example of the all atom view, where every single dot here represents an atom. The, um, the red is oxygen, the black is carbon, the blue is nitrogen. But that's more detail than we need at this stage. So what I'm going to do is actually turn off this atomic visibility. And instead, what I'd like to do is to mesh the protein to get an appearance that is not only easier to, to recognize the different parts of the virus, but also is going to be easier to work with in terms of animation. So what Molecular Maya just did there is to take every single particle in that end particle object and to create a mesh around the different proteins. So let me now scroll down to another part which is equivalent to Chimera's multi-scale models. We have what's called a biological unit where if you click on the mesh button it will now do the same thing that Chimera did. It will rebuild the entire virus. The difference is that we're able to use Maya's instances to do this. So as you can see even on a laptop this is really quite interactive uh, in terms of viewing this virus. So now we have Reovirus, and the last thing I'd like to show you is um, how we can actually bake some of the ambient occlusion uh, directly into the mesh. And you have two different options when you do that. One is to bake using the existing colors, which might be a nice way to show the different types of proteins that are in this virus. What I just did is actually to bake to black and white and you'll, sh you'll see in the movie that I show you in, in the final production how I've used this uh, kind of black and white ambient occlusion representation that's baked right into the mesh. And I emphasize the fact that it's baked ambient occlusion because it lets me create um, very rapid renders 
in Maya hardware. So if you've done any ambient occlusion, you know that it can take a while to calculate. Whereas here, because it's been baked into the mesh, I have almost instantaneous renders of this virus with AO baked right into it. So in the next movie, I'll show you how the production 